and welcome to the 6 o'clock news. I'm Abby. And I'm Harry. Uh, uh, my name's Ian. Um, today we are talking about time travel. Um, firstly, we're going to talk about it in books. So we have the time traveller's wife with us. Um, this book is basically about how the effects of time travel can affect somebody's marriage. And it was set sometime in the 90s. So, yeah. Um, our next book is The Time Machine. Um, this was um, in the late in the 19th century. Um, a Victorian scientist shows his um, de developing dinner guests um, a device in claims which he can travel in time with. Um, do you have any opinions on these two books? Or? The, uh, the, time the Time Machine, a uh, very good book. I've uh, read this book, seen various films, and I actually think it's a very good book. Very, very good book. Um, although I must admit I'm very sceptical of anything at all to do with time travel other than the fact that we travel in one direction in the way that I know that eventually this interview will end so I'll never be able to come back and repeat it. So do you think in songs that there are references to time travel such no. as in We Are The Champions? I believe that there are references but I don't think that any of them are legitimate in any way shape or form. How about um, in movies? So, because there has been some evidence that people have been going back, changing uh, things in movies. Uh, no, I don't think that's happened at all. I, mean, I, I could actually show you a movie where it looks like um, a, um, a film that was made in about 1910. It looks like a woman on this film is using a mobile phone, but um, with enough research. Um, you can actually work out that it, it wasn't. It was a very, very early recording device. So, what about in photos? Do you think, like, if the ancient Egypt's hieroglyphs, um, do you think they show any modern technology? Do you think that can be? No, I just think that we've l possibly lost some knowledge that they had. Um, I believe that uh, some of the buildings they've made are very, very accurate more accurate than this uh, school was built in, in a lot of respects. If you take a look at the, the actual pyramids and actually do the, the various calculations, you, you'll be hard pushed to find um, a more precisely built building anywhere on the planet. But uh, again, that was just done by, um, well, one, they had very big whips to, to get people to do what they wanted, and they had very clever people. Um, I'm not saying we couldn't do it, but we don't invest the time, money and energy into making things as strong, as powerful um, and as accurate. There's no need for it. On the internet now there is a uh, video, it's up on YouTube and it's about, there's two actually, um, one is a man claiming about he is from the future and he's telling us what's happening and everything he's saying could easily happen. And the next one is about um, a man, he was on his bike and he nearly got knocked over by a truck and this, nobody really knows but people think it is time travel called by CCTV and they, no one knows if it's like an angel or a um, time traveller but it could easily possibly a time traveller coming back to save his life. I think I've seen that one and it's, as far as I'm concerned, it's, it's either things like tricks of lights, made up stories, and um, that, that's what I believe all of this is. So, going back to the ancient Egyptians, um, do you believe that a mummy has been found wearing Adidas? Do you think that's true? Do you think anyone's No, I, it No, um, if, if, if there was one found wearing Adidas shoes, then I'm afraid they were put on when they were found. I'm afraid that's, that's what I believe. <laughs> there's a picture on the internet that we found, um, and it's our President Putin. And Russian leader. Yeah. And there's three photos of him. The ones... Um, 1920, 20, um, 1945 and 2015. And they're all the same faces with different textures and costumes. There are lots of people that look the same. Um, I'm sure if you went through enough photographs, I'd be able to paint pictures of all of us in this room, um, what looks like us 
70, 80, 90 years ago, quite. It would take a lot of effort, but I, I dare say it would be done. But what about um, people, will be look, people will be looking for the, the likes of President Putin and famous people. But what about the fact, the uh, texture of the pictures and the, the outfits? Or do you think that could easily be costumes? It's hard to say, but I, I don't believe it's got anything whatsoever to do with time travel. So if you were to travel back in time, where would you go and why? Uh, for me, there'd be two places if I could. One would be to 1969, so that I could uh, try and be a part of the, the moon landings. And the other one would be to go back about 300 years to when all the, uh, the, the, the old wooden sailing ships were out and everybody was out doing discovery. I'd like to be a part of that. Why, why would you like to go back to the uh, 300 years ago? Uh, it's, it's just we owe, we owe an awful lot to, to the people that were on places like the Beagle, you know, on the ships like the Beagle. And, um, things like that. So I, I just like the idea of that. It just appeals to me. Well, we're going to end it there. Thank you for joining us today. Um, I was Abby. Abby. And uh, Ian. And that is the end of tonight's show. <laughs>